Well, here's the trunk playing around with the water, so they've come all the way down to Twin Dams to have a drink. Oop. There's the water dripping. <laughs> it's almost like a shower, isn't it? Of the beautiful elephant putting all the water, sucking it up with the trunk and then putting it in its mouth. Now you see this one has got two tusks. So this is another elephant. And that's our friend that was shaking his head, so I'm sure maybe he was upset with the other one and they had been up to some play fighting or trying to show who's actually tougher than the two of them, so maybe that's why he was a bit upset. But everything's fine and well now that they've come to the water. I'm a bit surprised that they're drinking from, from this dam. Ellie's are normally fuzzy with the water that they drink, and every dam... Well, at least this dam in particular has gone green thanks to that cyanobacteria that's also known as a green-blue algae that's slowly taken over the dam. So it's got some toxins up to a level and if it's drank too much but certain species is the toxin in the algae when they take over the, the water sources, they can do damage to the nervous system and to the livers in particular of certain species of animal. So I think these Ellie's are being clever as well. You see that they're putting their trunks down or when they first arrive and they were also spraying the water. So I think they are actually going a bit further under that layer of algae that's not too bad yet. And that's where they're drinking when the water is still clean. Oh, that's amazing, that trunk. It seems like he's smelling, looking for a spot where there's less stuff. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder if they can smell the water that they're drinking. I'm sure they do, at least have a marvelous sense of smell. So maybe they're also just being a bit thorough in their water selection. Now we've got two young, young bulls around here. I reckon they've slowly started to split from their family. Sorry, Alice, you, there was a question from Ali. Alley, sorry, from an alley to the next alley. <laughs> You're wondering if elephants have poor eyesight. Um, no, they don't. They've got, oh, my, I think somebody's being sneaky and trying to spray the other one. They don't have bad eyesight. It's just that perhaps compared to their sense of hearing and smell, it, their eyesight is not as outstanding as this other two. But they have good eyesight. I think the only animal that has a reputation of not having the greatest eyesight out there are rhinos. Are you gonna hit him with the stick now? You see, ears open, both of them having a bit of a display moment. For a second there, it did look like he wanted to throw this branch onto the other bull. <laughs> Raising the head, I am bigger than you, don't try any funny business. Looking very sheepish now, as in like, what? I was not planning on doing anything. Elephants can be such funny creatures. Or maybe he's fashioned himself a tusk. Yeah, he wanted to have a massive tusk now. <laughs> there we go. Young boy is at play. So you see he's being very clever and he's actually faced him with his tusk side. Measuring of their trunks. Beautiful. So I'm sure this this is what they were up to when we first bumped into the one tusk Ellie. And likely they're gonna carry on doing this for the rest of the day. You see he's even got his stance ready so that if the other one tries to push him back, he won't be able to. Look at those feet. Beautiful. And you can see at the front, those are the nails, the toenails of the elephant. Very rough feet. Is he it? You're wondering how many toes does an elephant have? Well, they've got five in the front, of, or in their front feet, and four at the back. And we tend to see them when they're walking as well. We can see their tracks, so you see the, that's almost like his pinky toe, that little 
<laughs> round patch that we see. And then they, the toes grow bigger as they go into the middle of the foot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Typical young boys. I love when the young bulls start fighting. It's always like such a uh, pretending that there's nothing going on. Hey, are we? And it's always fascinating to see their antics and how they're pretending that there's nothing going on, and then there we go again. Ashes run, you're, you wonder if elephants fight. They do. Um, this is practice for when they get bigger and they have to fight with other elephants for the right of mating with a certain female in a breeding herd. So this is... Bite. Oh, sorry, I thought you said do elephants fight and I was like, yes, of course. Um, bite, as in like when they fight with other ones and, and, and bite each other, not that I'm aware of. So we've got some, the whole herd coming from the back. Yes. Very excited. Hopefully they'll all come down to the water and we'll have the little ones playing around while these two boys <laughs> try to sort out their differences. It's amazing that we've been sitting around here and there were one, two, three, four more elephants, six elephants in total. And we just didn't see them hiding in the bushes. Oh, lovely. Very cute little one going in first. Mom telling them off. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> you shall not drink your brother's water. And you see, I, you see that she's praying all around. I think she's also picked up on the fact that some of that water wasn't that clean. So she cleans it up a little bit, sprays some water there, moves the algae around, or the algae around, and then she starts drinking. Sammy Jam, you're wondering how much water does the trunk hold? Well, it depends on how big the elephant is, but as they grow bigger, between 10 and 15 liters of water. And they can drink maybe up to 150 liters of water a day, depending again on their size, but that would be a good average. Mm. They seem to drift quite a bit up. How wonderful is that? So it's almost like they use their, their trunks. They'll put all the water in there and then they use it as a cup, tilt their head. I think someone hasn't mastered the art of drinking with the trunk just yet, but getting better. There's lots of water that's being pushed out. And I wonder if it's not because he doesn't like the taste. Maybe he's tasting a bit of the green stuff that's in the water. <laughs> but I don't think he's, he's quite got it right yet. <laughs> Maybe he gets a bit too excited for the next one. You're a very sweet little Ellie. Yeah, it seems like the aggression has gotten a bit worse between these two. For a moment there, it almost seemed like the tree was going to end up being pushed down. So let's see what they get up to. So very likely all of these elephants are somewhat related and the bigger female that we were looking at potentially the mother of one of these two. Uh, they're all of different sizes which is a good indication that they could all be related and we've got from the older calf to the youngest one which is the one that's closest to her. But I wonder, are you guys going to carry on? Hmm. Well, they definitely seem to be in a very playful mood this morning. Alright, there we go again. Pushing each other around. So I know it looks quite aggressive, but this is still not as aggressive as it can get between elephants. And this is very useful for them to learn the skills that they're going to have to use if they want to mate with females later on, when th once they become a little bit bigger than what they are now. <laughs> but 
Almost like it's getting ready. One, two, three, go. Maybe not. <laughs> Julia, you're wondering how do elephants show affection for each other? Um, well, they're a lot gentler than these two, although... <laughs> Alright, let's just take one moment to see what they're up to. <laughs> Wonder if one of them is gonna end up in the water. You chose wrong. You're on a downhill. <laughs> I think the little one's actually got a lot of, of strength in him. He's been pushing that bigger one around for a few times. So, Julia, you were wondering how they show affection for each other or if they do. Um, often you will see that they they can be quite gentle towards one another and especially if they start, if it's uh, a herd that hasn't seen a member for a while, they get very excited. There's, okay, are you done? <laughs> I'm tired, I'm done for the day. <laughs> this is quite funny. So you'll see that they'll start touching each other with their trunks, putting their trunks in each other's mouth and there's a lot of trumpeting. But yeah, this is not affection. I think now they're getting a bit grumpy at one another, which is part of their normal life. Oh my goodness. I see them growling at each other. This is quite amazing seeing them fight so aggressively at such a young age. Well, hmm, seems like not even normal biological processes will stop the fighting. <laughs> Still chasing that smaller one around. I think he got tired of being pushed around and now he really wants to show who the biggest elephant is around this herd. <laughs> 